Instrumentation really should be called automation. Um, it's gone from the measurement side and now it's kind of evolved into how do you automate anything. It's a broad range of different things. You kind of have to have knowledge like, you know, miles wide, but more than a couple inches deep because uh, you kind of have to really understand what's going on, not just memorize what's happening. It helps to be interested in computers too, because a lot of what we do is automation and, and you know, process control, right? So uh, that relies a lot on microcontrollers and programming them. Uh, the building that I'm in, the Spartan Center, is state of the art. Some of the technology they have in there, the investment into this place has been huge. Nate's lab technicians have done an amazing job at recreating what you find in industry and putting it in this building. I find so many different topics in this program interesting that I would feel pretty happy um, getting into the trade or getting into the engineering side of things. It's demanding, but it's, um, it's also really rewarding at the same time because um, you learn a whole lot. My big thing is that I don't ever really want to get stuck anywhere. I don't ever want to feel like I'm stuck doing monotonous work and I think that this field is a good one to grow in. Uh, over the last six months, I've had four job offers for out of school. Um, you can work in anywhere from a, a, a brewery to a shampoo factory to pulp and paper, uh, oil and gas, um, pretty much anything that's automated, assembly lines, factories. I think the jobs are really endless for something as broad as instrumentation.